Hi guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you'll keep returning or at least subscribe, hopefully. Um, this is the endless, seemingly endless search to create a magnetic configuration that will power a wheel like you're seeing here. Now, this does not actually work yet, almost. Now, the reason this video here is because a few people last night said, hey, put the magnets at 120 degrees each, three on the wheel. Well, I did, but I forgot. I didn't have this on there. Rather, I had this on there. Okay, I had this there. And then when I switched it out, I took off the other two magnets. So, my apologies. So, here's the corrected version. Let me stop this here and show you what's going on. Okay. I put this bag on here to mark where we have a weaker cylindrical magnet. These are all one inch by one inch N42 neodymium magnets. However, here, I think this is like an N32. I'm not sure what it is. And it's a lot lighter in your hand, substantially so. And there's a hole in the middle of it, which also takes out more of the material. So this is this does not have the strength that these others do. So what you're going to notice here is that when these two come through, this wheel just suddenly goes, it has some oomph to it. It just wants to go. But when it gets to this one, this weaker magnet causes the wheel to drag. Okay? So I'll show you, demonstrate this, but I have more magnets on the way and then we'll have the right configuration and then we'll see where this goes. And of course, I'll work on this configuration here. This is, like I said, haphazardly done. I moved this over, but I can tell visually I didn't move it over enough. But anyway, watch this. This is pretty cool. Uh, again, my apologies for screwing up last night, but here we go with all three magnets on here, including the weaker one, which is marked where this bag is. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to spin it very fast. That way you can see the issues. Okay, weak magnet, stronger magnet. See how it takes off? Weak, stronger picks up speed. Weaker magnet slows down. Every time that weaker magnet comes around, it drags. But you'll notice when these two in tandem get going, it, it just suddenly it's got a little, little boost. And then this one drags it down. There's your boost again but it's not enough boost to make up for this magnet's inefficiency. And come the good ones. See how it picks up? And then of course, now there's another gentleman on here saying he doesn't see this thing pick up speed when the good magnets come by. I don't know who he is, maybe he's a troll. I don't know what to think of him. Uh, I noticed that he's been addressed and I will address him personally myself. I don't like banning or blocking people from my channel because I like to show them that they're wrong, that they can come back if they come back and they'll see, oh my gosh, Mr. Roney was right. So anyway, um, it's only when they get really irate and rude. Yeah, I'll ban them. Okay. But anyway, there you go. I'll let it go for a moment, but it's not going to do anything more, obviously. It's just going to find a resting spot. Now, the other thing too, I found it was interesting right here is the center of no man's land where north and south are balanced oops it's gonna go hang on a second this is hard this is a real fine narrow spot oh, this is so hard to do It looks like I did it. Okay. Now I want to show you something interesting. The alignment of this center of the axis of this is almost perfectly in alignment with the other magnet. It's in alignment with the center of this face. Dead, absolute center. I don't dare get this any further. I don't know if this is magnetic. Or... Oh, wow, this is not magnetic. Oh, cool. Okay, so now I can get this close. Okay, so right there. What? Oh, there's a little bit of magnet in the end of this. Uh, there's a, a nut or something in there. No, it's not magnetic. 
So I guess they just finally, it just finally gave in. Okay, so anyway, but the, the neutral spot for this, what you all call, and some of you all, is right about there, okay? And the same thing here. Wherever this is pointing is exactly where the neutral spot is. Yep, it's right about there. I can feel it. And it does it all the way around. So if you're new, you didn't see any of the other videos, the way this works, this is in attraction mode. And as it moves past, it gets into repulsion mode while this goes back to attraction mode. So this is pushing this into this attraction field. So we have a double action here. We have a push and attraction exactly at the same time. So as this repulsion dissipates, the attraction increases and it goes on and on and on so that's the premise behind this newer setup now without any shielding now if i need shielding of course i will bring back shielding see how it drags on that but when it gets to these it picks right back up to speed but doesn't pick up enough in speed to make up for the inefficiency of this weaker magnet so it will come to a stop I have a feeling when I get three good balanced magnets on here and work on the configuration here and probably add another group of four here, a group of four here, um, I think we're going to be in business. Um, thinking, of course, is the absence of knowing. Rather, thinking is the process of arriving at the answer. So I don't have the answer yet, but it looks like I'm well on the way to having an answer. We shall see. All right, that's it. I just wanted to make this video to address people talking about that I didn't do this correctly last night. And they're right. I, I screwed up and I'm sorry. Okay, so let me let you all go. That's it for this video. Take care now.